the studio, Julian. Oh, thank you so much. You had a tough game today against Olga Giria, Russian Grandmaster. Tell us something about the game. Um, I think my assessment on that game was that I saw maybe it would just draw immediately. But I just overlooked <laughs> one slight disadvantage because right. of my separate bonds that yes. appeared to be a bit hanging and shaky. Yes, because you came down, to, you, you exchanged queens, you reached an end game with two rooks and opposite coloured bishops. And yes. you, you were hoping that, that this could be drawn. Yes, I yes. just thought, oh, no, this is roughly a draw. Mm -hmm. But later on... It became yeah, problematic I, later on in the game. Very, yes. very, very. OK, let's have a look at the game. Thank you. OK. OK, Julian, we're looking at the position after Black's played rook e8. And it's your turn. What, okay. what happened next? I played rook f to d1. Mm -hmm. Uh, yep. But I saw my other option was uh, c5. C5, but yes. But then again I saw queen d2. Queen d2 is was what going to bring it? more problems for for white. Yes. yes. So that's the more reason I refrained from playing the pawn to c5. Yeah, so you went in for rook fd1. Or rook f to d1. Now after queen c7, this one. I saw that roughly my position is not bad, although I can give a slide for black mm -hmm. because of his light squared bishop. Yes. And maybe some potential attack. Yeah. So in this case again, okay, I played bishop d6. Yes. But instead of this, mm -hmm. I saw, again, I saw that if I play c5 after takes here, mm -hmm. Then queen a5 was going to bring some more problems. Queen a5, yes. Yes, some more problems with the, yeah. the idea of bishop and later to d5. Bishop d7 there and later on to. Yeah, so c5, what's yeah. the next move? This immediately? No, no. Just take. Sorry. Okay. Just take, yeah. Well, Oops. Just take there. Um, I'm highlighting the, the problems that yeah. oh, I see what you mean. that yeah. can be considered yeah. while I yeah. I'm still cramped here. Then the other thing that I saw here, maybe was to try to play queen to e3. Queen to e3. Attacking the, 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 the c5 pawn. Yes. But again, I just noticed that it doesn't pose any dangers for for black because we just defend the pawn and still continue to threaten queen a5. After queen a5, white would then have to go back and your well, bishop would get passive, is that the, the thought here? If the bishop returns, yeah. I think uh, white loses the battle. Yeah. yeah. And now the advantage now will be clearly. Yeah, because the light squared bishop is... Yeah, it's too dominant. It's, it's dominant, too, in it's the, whereas dominant. this bishop here, obviously. This one so you would sort of come problem. to this square and this square and then... Yes. Uh, sorry, your opponent would come here and here. And yes, I good play dominate on the, on the light, light squares. squares. Yeah, I understand. That's the more reason I, I never did play C5. So you avoided that. Yeah, okay. So rook FD1. And your opponent C7. played queen C7. That's the more reason I played bishop. Bishop D6. D6. Yeah, yeah. Giving up the... Just trying to go into an opposite colored. Yeah. I thought it was equal, but later on I discovered this is slightly better for mm -hmm. for black. If because I, of the isolated yes. pawn. Yeah, yeah. If I push e4, mm -hmm. then I saw bishop to e2 and to f3. Yeah, yeah. and then the, this, this pawn is, becomes yeah, very vulnerable. It's still dominating, and the c file opens up yeah. immediately. Yeah, yeah. And it's quite hard to defend that with a bishop, isn't it? Because if you go there, it gets chased away with a pawn. And this doesn't feel very comfortable here. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Right, so you played rook d2. Rook d2. Uh, my idea for this move was to keep the light squares closed first. So mm -hmm. that maybe I should try to exchange on the queen side. Yes. And hope for a drawish end again. Yes. Yeah. So your opponent put pressure on your... C4, that C4. was correct, that yeah. was correct, highlighting the weakness here. Mm -hmm. Then I decided to push A4. Uh, F3, I F3? think it was here, yep. F3, okay, sorry. 
It seems logical, doesn't it, to put it on a white square to, against this light squared bishop. Yes, just to mm. close up and mm -hmm. as well as yeah. try to okay. bring and my chain closer. Then of course closer. your opponent does a similar thing. Now this is the move that, that puzzled me because after black puts all the pawns here on the dark square, the mobility of this bishop yes. becomes faster than mine here. Yeah. Yeah. Then all these rooks can double and a few trade on the queen side. Yeah. So that was a real threat that made me play a bit weaker. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, this is classical play this, against, this was against an, a bishop, isn't it? You put, this, this was an excellent play. You put pawns on the dark squares and then this, this dark squared bishop has a problem. And it also gives lots of nice white squares for the yes, for this that bishop. Yes, so, real, real, yeah. real, real I mean, you're doing the same thing here against the... But so. this is more effective against your bishop, isn't it? Because this diagonal isn't very... Yes. Not very useful for you, isn't it? No, there's nothing from there. So the the only thing that I tried to is to exchange the pawns on the queen side so that maybe my bishop can have some more space as well. Yeah, yeah. Logical, yeah. So A, A4. Well, in fact, your opponent played E4 here, didn't she? Ye yes, I see. Which is... On this move, I thought black is better. Mm -hmm. But I can have chances of a draw after I exchange on the yes. queen side. But on this, I saw just a moment. Sorry. On 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 again. Mm -hmm. Again. <laughs> yeah. Now on a four here. Yeah. Instead of playing this move, if I had played e four. Okay. If I had played this move, this appears to be a bit weaker on my part. Yes, although it's this is on a, a light square, so this is cramping the bishop slightly. Yes, yes. So, I thought maybe a look. Look here. Yes. Well, there's there's a pawn on breeze here. The the rook, oh, the rook is still pinned. <laughs> That's the problem. Now there's well. another threat of rook yeah. c six. Yes. And yeah, probably okay, maybe yeah. taking somewhere on eight. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's not, that's quite interesting, isn't it? So that's the more reason I avoided to play pawn e4. Yeah. Yes, because okay. yeah. after maybe taking on c3 or bishop returns, rook to c4, some attack can continue. Yeah, there's so, a lot happening in this position, isn't there? Very, very, very. It was careful. an interesting position. But it is. Yeah. I was on the bad side. Yeah. Okay, yeah. One of those days, isn't it? So, I mean, a4 looks very logical as well, doesn't okay. it? So, we played e4. e4 played, yeah. Then a2. Captures, captures. f5. And you wanted to try and exchange a pair of pawns. Yeah, I, I thought king f2. King, king f2, f2 instead of this, yeah. Yes, king f2. It's. It's very it still awkward. doesn't look good for me. It looks. And when I. Yeah play rook e1, uh, I'm getting away from the plan of exchanging on the queen side. This, this pawn is very vulnerable now, isn't it? Very vulnerable. And the ideas of rook e6 to yeah. f6 yeah. was the more reason I decided just to give away that pawn. Yeah. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, so a5. Yeah. H6 gets played. She's being very careful. On, on, on this move, I didn't understand the logic behind on this one. I wasn't clear what Black was planning here. Maybe it's just a sort of waiting move to see what you do next. Maybe just to solve the back rank problem yeah. Yeah. or something. But uh, I guess so. Yeah. I mean, eventually, eventually Black has to play something like that, just in case yeah. of the back rank, I suppose. On here, I'd imagine maybe something like B5. Would be played later. B five, yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. But just to keep my my hanging pawns on the on the queen side. Yeah. Because if I bring my bishop this side, it's yeah. closed up. It's as good as a pawn here. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, exchange happened. Okay. And you played rook B one. And she doesn't. She really doesn't want to play this onto a light square. I wanted the pawn to be on B five. Yes. But she doesn't want to do that. My chances of getting a draw would yes. be very high because yeah. now my bishop can yeah. can have the c5 yeah. square yeah. and 
can help in some defense. Yeah, she's playing very carefully here with this. Okay. Oops. Okay. Oh, have we? Yeah, okay. okay. Yours works better than mine. Okay. So. Yeah, she's being very, very canny here. But at least you have that square for your bishop now. On although. here, I thought maybe king f2. King f2. Instead of this move. Instead of bishop b4. If I do this, yeah. I think just take. Yeah. Take. Yes. Bishops come off and then it, it's a very difficult end game, take. isn't it? You really want to keep the bishops on the board. Yes, you? because yeah. something like this, I think I was lost. Yeah. Because there is no pawn here. Yeah. Black has got an extra pawn. His king can come to the queen side mm -hmm. and do some. It's hard to defend, isn't it? It's easier to, to attack than def defend those kind of positions. So, so bishop b4, and now all those pieces came off. You played rook e1, yeah, so you've given up your pawn, but okay. you've still got chances here, haven't you? I right. had some chances. I thought but it could hard. draw, yeah. but yeah. practically it's very yeah. difficult. Yeah, okay. Okay, shall we leave it there? We won't go to, go to the end of the game, but... Yes. Uh, okay, thanks very much. <laughs>